Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Today's video is all about Sam Altman, the guy who's making waves in Silicon Valley and giving tech giants a run for their money. You might be thinking, who the heck is Sam Altman? Don't worry, we've got you covered. Sam Altman is a Silicon Valley whiz kid who's making his mark in the world of startups and artificial intelligence. He's the former president of Y Combinator, the startup accelerator that helped invest to launch Dropbox, Airbnb, and more. And if that's not impressive enough, he's also the CEO of OpenAI, the research lab that developed ChatGPT. But what makes Sam stand out from the rest of the tech world? Well, let's just say he's got some interesting perspectives on entrepreneurship and risk-taking. In a 2018 interview with Y Combinator, Sam shared his advice on pursuing things quickly and cheaply, being honest about what works and what doesn't, and cutting out what's not working. And if you're thinking of taking a break to learn and explore different topics, Sam highly recommends it. According to him, it's one of the best career decisions he ever made. He even traveled and learned finance. Now, here's the funny part. Sam believes that successful people often think too small and need a shift in perspective to see the big picture. And while taking risks can be scary, Sam suggests that it's not about taking reckless risks, but rather taking calculated risks and being comfortable with failure. So basically, Sam is like that one friend who encourages you to take that risky leap but also reminds you that it's okay to fail. With his experience, insights, and humorous takes on risk-taking, it's no wonder that Sam Altman is making waves in the tech industry. OpenAI is an AI research laboratory that was co-founded by Elon Musk, Sam Altman, and a few others in 2015. Its mission is to create safe artificial intelligence that benefits humanity as a whole. But what does that mean exactly? Well, the folks at OpenAI believe that AI has the potential to revolutionize the world, but that it also comes with significant risks. They're working to develop AI systems that are beneficial and aligned with human values, and that can help us solve some of the world's most pressing problems. And that's where Sam Altman comes in. As the CEO of OpenAI, Sam is responsible for overseeing the organization's research, development, and operations. He's also a big believer in the power of AI to improve people's lives, but he's also mindful of the potential dangers of AI. Under Sam's leadership, OpenAI has made significant progress in the field of AI research. One of its most notable accomplishments is the development of GPT-3, a language model that can generate human-like text. You might have even interacted with a version of GPT-3 without realizing it. It's used in chatbots, virtual assistants, and other applications. Recently, there's been a lot of talk about the dangers of AI taking over jobs and leaving humans without work. But Sam thinks people are overreacting a bit. As he said in a recent interview in Strictly VC, anyone who says they really understand what the AI future is going to look like in detail is delusional at best. A tight feedback loop and deep engagement with society seems like the best path forward. Altman began his career as a co-founder and CEO of Looped, a location-based social networking app that allowed users to connect with friends and local businesses. Looped was founded in 2005 and quickly gained popularity, raising over $30 million in funding and attracting more than 5 million users. Altman and his team were ahead of the curve, pioneering the concept of location-based social networking before it became mainstream. But running a startup is never easy, and Altman faced his fair share of challenges while leading Looped, Despite these challenges, Altman's experience at Looped helped shape his approach to entrepreneurship and his views on the tech industry as a whole. Altman's success with Looped and his subsequent work with startups and venture capital firms have earned him a reputation as one of Silicon Valley's most influential entrepreneurs. His unique perspective on innovation and entrepreneurship has made him a sought-after advisor and mentor for new startups, and his work with OpenAI is pushing the boundaries of what's possible with AI technology. In 2014, Sam Altman was appointed as the president of Y Combinator. And boy, did he bring a breath of fresh air to the company. During his tenure, he invested in over 700 startups and made Y Combinator one of the most successful startup accelerators in the world. But that's not all. Sam's impact on Y Combinator went beyond just financial success. He introduced new initiatives to help startups grow, like the Startup School and YC Fellowship. Sam also helped bring more diversity to the startup world by launching programs to support underrepresented founders. His philosophy was simple, make something people want. He believed that if a startup could make something people want, then it's destined for success. And with a net worth estimated to be around $250 million, 
It's no surprise that Altman's investing strategies are highly sought after by aspiring entrepreneurs and investors alike. The latest GPT model, GPT-4, is the talk of the town. Some experts believe that GPT-4 could be the first step towards AGI. But is it true? In a recent interview with Lex Fridman, Sam Altman, the CEO of ChatGPT, talked about his thoughts on the future of AI and the potential of GPT-4. According to Sam, we will look back at GPT-4 as a very early AI in the grand scheme of things. He acknowledges that it messes up a lot, but it is the early stages of a technology that will be life-changing, just like the internet. Sam believes that the underlying tech of ChatGPT is not what is innovative, but the packaging and usability of it. Sam also thinks that ChatGPT is too often being used as a database, and not its best use, which is as a reasoning engine. He says, the thing that's really amazing about this system is that it, for some definition of reasoning, can do reasoning. I think that's remarkable, and the thing that's most exciting. However, he acknowledges that many would disagree with him and quibble about the definition of reasoning. Sam believes that customization and control should be built into GPT to address biases and bring nuance back to the world. He responds to Lex's example about counting the number of nice words that GPT would say about different prominent people, saying that he would not have believed it if someone told him he would have to spend his time arguing about counting how many nice words the AI says about one person. In this interview, Sam also mentions his democratic approach to building AI. He believes that exposure to the public and feedback from the public serves the company and gives them unique research and development opportunities but it should also build trust with the public. Are we on the verge of creating artificial general intelligence or AGI? That's a question that's been on the minds of many people in the tech industry, and it's one that Sam Altman has some thoughts on. Artificial general intelligence or AGI is the holy grail of the AI world. AGI refers to machines that can understand or learn any intellectual task that a human being can do. This means it can reason, understand natural language, and even learn new things without being programmed. OpenAI's mission is to ensure that AGI benefits all of humanity. If AGI is successfully created, it could help us elevate humanity in many ways, including turbocharging the global economy, increasing abundance, and aiding in the discovery of new scientific knowledge. Sam Altman recently spoke with Lex Fridman on his podcast about the possibility of achieving AGI and what that would mean for the world. And let me tell you, his insights are both fascinating and a bit scary. Altman doesn't give a timeline for when we might achieve AGI, but he does say that if an oracle came back in time and told us that GPT-10, the future successor to ChatGPT, would be a super intelligent AGI, he could believe it. Can you imagine? GPT-10, the successor of GPT-4, being the first AGI to exist? That's insane! But Altman also acknowledges that there's a chance that a super-intelligent AI might not be aligned with our goals as humans. That's a scary thought, because if we create something that is smarter than us, and it doesn't have our best interests in mind, it could end up being disastrous. That means that even if we do achieve AGI, it might not be on our side. Scary, right? But why do we even need AGI? Well, according to Sam, our unaided faculties are not good enough to fully understand the universe. We need better and smarter tools to help us make sense of reality, just like we need a telescope to understand galaxies. In fact, Sam even tweeted about it in his personal account, saying, I think AGI is probably necessary for humanity to survive. Our problems seem too big for us to solve without better tools. It's always hard to think about what tools will enable us, but I cannot begin to imagine what we'll be able to achieve with the help of AGI. It's both exciting and a little bit scary to think about what we can achieve with AGI, but we need to start preparing for it now. Sam also mentioned that the only way to solve the problems that come with AGI is to iterate our way through it, learning early, and limiting our one-shot-only-to-get-it-right type chances. We can't expect to get everything right on the first try, but we need to keep trying and learning from our mistakes. As OpenAI systems get closer to AGI, they are becoming increasingly cautious with the creation and deployment of their models. Their decisions will require much more caution than society usually applies to new technologies, and more caution than many users would like.